everybody. Today we're going to be working on pockets and tags in our blue plaid journal that we started maybe two weeks ago. And I've gathered up a bunch of stuff so I don't waste any time finding things. We're going to make some tags and journal cards. I have a bunch of pockets ready to go. So we'll work on those first. This is all tags and cards. Now I'm going to take it to the front. And I've cut the front pocket. I used the paper that I was originally going to put as a liner. I used that as my pocket. Then I've got it cut and folded. I'm just going to trim off these corners. Just too much bulk in there. That one. Just right across the X. Or close to it. So you take some of that out. Helps it to fold. The first thing I'm going to do is glue, glue down this upper flap to give it a little bit more stability. It's very thin. It's copy paper. So I'm just going to glue that. Hopefully my glue will cooperate. Come on. Just, whoop, there it is. Okay. Still coming out very slow. I don't think I like this bottle. This nozzle keeps falling off. And it comes out very slow. I don't think I'm going to put glue on the edge, on this corner. It's going to make it too thick. I'll just do that part. And then the other side. I've already cut the notch for the pocket. The opening. So it made it into two pieces. Thank you for coming back today. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun is very hot. I sat out there for a while and it was too much, too hot. So I came back in. And now I'm videoing. Okay, now I'm gonna glue, put glue on all these flaps. I'm gonna glue this into the front and the inside cover. I like putting an inside cover pocket. It gives me a place to put extra pieces for pockets and tags. So that when I work in the journal, actually, I have extra pockets. It's, I don't know, my style of junk journal is not to fill it up completely. Because I don't feel like you have room for what you want to put in there then. If you don't know what the purpose is, how can you make a pocket or a flip? So once you start working on it and you realize you need a pocket to put some souvenir or a ticket or whatever in it and you can always add it okay i'm almost finished gluing all right i'm gonna put it down on the inside here a little bit off the edges we don't want it all the way to the left or all the way to the bottom want a little room but we don't want it over the fold of our book either. So watch where you put in that pocket. All right, we have that all glued down. This is for this side. I have this little corner pocket I want to put on here because I made this little tiny tag. I'm going to put that inside that pocket can you see now? Move up. All right, I need to glue this side and the bottom. So it's this long edge and the bottom. Because if we glue all, all the three sides, then it's a regular pocket. We just want a little corner pocket. I'm going to put it inside that stitching. 
and press it down. There we go. And this little tag I haven't decorated with anything. I think I'll leave that for last. We'll get everything situated first. So we got that done. Now over here, I found this uh, tag I had made long ago. Must have been on my silhouette cameo. And I had it in my die cut holder, which you've seen before. I'm gonna get out these words, because I'm gonna use these. I just want to see if there's anything else I could use in this journal to decorate. I don't think we want bows on this one. This is not a feminine, frilly type book. Flowers. You know, I have these little tags that say to do. I cut them also on my cameo. I'll take out two of those. More flowers. Some lace. And what's up here? This was. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I see what it is. Little cards I had made. No, that won't go on our journal either. We don't want a clock in this one. What is this? Mm, a ticket? No. Seashells, more flowers. I'm telling you, I'm loving this book that I made. All of my die cuts are in this book. I do have a blue butterfly. We could use that. This little bow, no. Uh, more flowers. And some more words. I have smaller words I think we'll be using. Uh, what do I have here? Mm, pick on to note. Take note. We can put that somewhere. Oh, my tags are falling out here. Um, a heart. No. Um, like corner tags. Oh, this tag. This label says forever. We can use that. Let me put these back in. My little pockets. I have some banners. And this is for being there. And I think I had made these for greeting cards. It may go into this book though. But we'll leave that out. Um, more tags and labels. Charms that I made. Here are the tags, the labels we used in our last book, the neutral journal. These are some wooden die cuts. These are more for fall. Butterfly, but I have a butterfly. Uh, I have up some words. I have together. Let's take that out. Thinking of you, but I think I put that in my list journal. This one says thanks. Mm, no. Let's just take it. No. Can't read this. Uh, thanks for being there. No. Need that. Yeah, nothing in there. Things I have to cut out. More clocks. This is the one envelope I haven't emptied yet to put it in here. I have more fussy cutting to do. Oops, these flowers. They don't go in this book. Some parts. And that's it. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. So we have some stuff. Let's work on this. I think this I had said I made on my cameo, my silhouette cameo, quite a number of years ago. I'm going to make a belly band out of it. Just a small belly band. 
I will hold a journal card. I'm only gonna glue the end down, both ends. Put it right above the center, above the middle, in the center of the page. So glue that down. This page has a little gnome on it. I believe I got that from may have been, what's the name of the place? Design something. I got the name of the place. They have a lot of free graphics. I think I've talked about it before. Design Bundles, that's what it's called. Designbundles.com. You make a free account and you get to download five free downloads every day. They have die cuts, they have paper, scrapbook paper. There's quite a few things on journaling in there. Maybe take a look in there. Okay, now this card I have ready. I inked it up all around. Let's see how it fits. Perfect. Okay, we have that done. This I made off camera. I made this pocket is actually made out of a paper towel, several folds, a little glue in between, and I fold it over the flap, made these two little outer pieces, and it holds a little card and a piece of writing paper. More journaling. So that's made out of a paper towel. And the flap flips up. So you have the whole page to use. They attached it with a, what they call it, a connecting strip. It's about half an inch wide. I scored it a quarter of an inch. And each side got a quarter of an inch glued to it. And fold it over. Now I may do some stamping on these when we're done with all the pockets. Here I may, I'm trying to make some different things. It seems like Oh, we make our pockets and tags. It's just a flip of different types of paper that are in here. The paper towel that I ink dyed, the grocery bag, that made the cover, some paper, and this blue paper, which is one of the pages. So I think maybe I'll just attach this with a paper clip. Let me see if I have another one. Here's another clip, but uh, let's see if it goes. It's an altered paper clip. It has a blue butterfly. It does have a pink flower, but I think that's okay. Let's see how it looks. Put this at the top. Get the paper clip over the page. Where is it? There we go. No, I missed. Why is this one giving me so much trouble? Let me bend it a little bit. Too tight. Okay, try again. Hmm. Nope. There we go. work. So we have that clipped on. We could always take it off or we'll just lift it up. This page I haven't put anything on yet. This page I made a little side tuck with a tag. I have quite a few, what do you call it, pockets ready. They're in here. This is a side pocket with a tag in that I made. This one is also finished, but my tags are not. These, these, the tag and the card are cut from, I was telling you, we always get in the mail those postcard type flyers. So I just saved them 
and I use them to cut tags and cards out of wide waist cardstock. They're very sturdy. The only thing you have to wash is sometimes, like this is very red. And since I print most of my paper on copy paper, it may show through. So if I can find something darker, but the lighter colors are fine. And that's a little pocket there. This page I haven't put anything on. Now this page, I tried making something different. I had seen on someone's video, this opens up, so you can actually put tags and things in here. So I think I'm going to just glue it down on the three sides and have a tuck at the top also. But the way I made this, I just took, this is a lunch bag, and cut it, it's about three inches high. Just folded it together like that, folded it over, and now I have a pocket here, which is where this tag goes. And I actually, no, it's not a pocket. There's one pocket on top, and then we'll have a, tuck at, a pocket at the top. So we can fit two things in there. Like this. Oh, I missed it again. There it is. So the tag will go in there. I'm going to glue this down on three sides. It's just, just a lunch bag, a small, regular size lunch bag. You can buy in a whole pack of like 50 in the supermarket. And I, like I said, I just cut it down to like three inches and then folded the top over. And that was it. Okay, let me glue this down. Can't believe I glued the wrong side. I'm not supposed to glue the top. This wrong side. Okay, a little extra in these corners. They take all the wear and tear of sliding things in and out. Now I'm going to put this about an inch off the bottom and then an inch off the sides. And I'll glue that down. Now I have this all ready. I inked up this opening. I did ink a little bit around the edges. And this tag is also inked. So that's it. Just the lunch bag. But it does open up, so if you have extra tags, you just put them inside of there. Put journaling cards that will fit. There we go. Alright, so we have that one finished. Uh, what do we have here? This was the, the corner tuck that I made. I made a journaling card. I did put some flowers on it. There are some flowers in this book. And this is a small little card. I was thinking of making a corner tuck. Which way is it? This way. I can make a corner tuck in this corner. That's what I'll do with it. So I need glue on this side and this side. Let me turn the book so I can get to it. I'll put it in the corner, about an eighth of an inch from the top and the side. Glue it down. Let the glue catch. Let's see, I don't have a tag for that one. Let's see. Where are those small tags? Here's one. Let's put a little tag in there. Or a bigger tag, you can actually put a journaling card up there if you want. And then you have the whole page for whatever else you want to do. So that's a corner tag tuck. This page I cut a, I don't know what they call this type of pocket, angled pocket. I'm going to glue it down on this side and just the bottom. 
So this whole area will be open. So just these straight sides. I'm gonna glue them down. And I didn't ink the edges on this. I don't wanna ink everything. I don't want it to look vintage. I have enough glue to hold it. Okay, so it's gonna go here. Don't go too close to your center fold because your page will not turn. So it's just this side and the bottom that's glued down. And then that will hold, let's see, a card, journal card. You can hold anything larger even, larger pieces. I have one of these cards I could put in here. These were, I believe they're Project Life cards. And these are the bigger ones. I also have the smaller ones. So even if I don't use the card as it is with the saying, I can cover it and use it as a journal card. But we'll just put this big one in here for now. This pocket is finished. I made this pocket out of the bottom of a small, a large tag. What I do with that big tag? Did I use it? I don't think I did. It is here somewhere. Anyway, it's a very large tag. So I just cut off the top. And I used that as a pocket. And I think I'm going to take my white pen, my jelly roll pen, and I'm going to make some stitching around it. Make it stand out a little more. The jelly roll pens are very good for this. They write as soon as you put it onto the paper. I've had several other white pens where it just took a while for the ink to flow. But these just work right away. So you evenly run your stitching. side. So you have what looks like you stitched it, but it's only done with a pen. I'm going to do a little across the top. You can't see too well in these words, but it's there. Brings out the look of it a little more. It didn't it was blending right in with the green paper. And here I have a piece of paper for writing or journaling. Lined on one side and a journaling card. Okay, what's next? Nothing on this page. This one, here's another pocket I've cut out of the paper that I was going to use on the inside of the cover. This one, I didn't add the extensions on this that you fold under. This will just be a flat pocket. I'm not going to do anything on this one. I'm just going to glue down the three sides. You get to fit a journaling card or some tags. Journaling paper. Whatever you can fit in this pocket. It's about three and a half inches wide, I would say. Yeah, I'll measure it. Actually, it's five inches wide. And three inches tall. That's a pretty big pocket. Okay, we've got the glue, three, glue on three sides. I'm just going to center it. Stick 
at them. And that can hold. I don't have a tag here. Here's a tag. Journaling card. And this is a tiny little tag I made. It feels like it's on cardboard. I put book paper on both sides. Very tiny. I think I'm going to use it as a corner tuck. But I'm only going to glue the very top of it. They can just tuck something small underneath it. Put a little glue along the top. And lift this up so I can see. Putting it as close to the top as I can go. And then I'll hold it down for a second. And actually I could put these little tiny to-do lists under there. And you want to make sure the glue dries on this before you start tucking anything in or you're going to loosen it. So I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to it. I'll put these tags over here. Nothing on this page. This page, I've also made another pocket, a flat pocket, which I think would go well here. Move my string. So we'll put that one down here. Putting glue along three sides. Doesn't matter which one's the top. And you can decorate the outside of your pocket too, whatever you want. I haven't done any decorating on these pockets. I'll put a few little things, not too much. Okay, I'm gonna put this down evenly. You don't want it in the fold, keep it away from the fold. This fold here, because your book page won't close. Slide it up a little bit. A little too close to the bottom. Okay. Press it down. And that can also fit some journaling tags and journaling cards or tags. Get a little card. Put that in there. string out there. My thread. Now here's a large tag I need and I put a pocket on the actual tag and then I just paper clipped it to the page. See here is a pocket. It can hold anything I think. How big is it? Here's a journaling card. That fits in there tag would fit in there, some paper for writing would fit in there, and it's on the page with a paper clip, which is an altered paper clip. And on this side I have some writing paper, actually I folded this up as a pocket, the writing paper is in here, it's sort of a little hidden spot for writing, this slides under that paper clip. The ultra paper clip. Now this one, what was my purpose for this? It's a No, it's not. Just for writing. I thought I left the ends open. But I didn't. So this could just be used for journaling or whatever you want to put on there. Let's see what we have here. Could put a butterfly on there. I think I'll do that. My slow glue. It comes out so slow. I have to find a different top. 
Okay. One on this side, one on this side. I think I want it on this side. There we go. So we have a blue butterfly. There's nothing on this page. A few empty pages here. And here's another pocket we could use here. Oh no, this one goes on this side. I have a word down here that says remember. I don't know if you could see that. So I don't want to cover that up, so I'm going to make sure my pocket is above it. So I'm going to put glue on this side and the bottom. Side. You want to leave that side open. Okay, I'm going to put this above my word and try and get it on straight. That word is printed right on my page. I did that on my computer. Okay. Pretty well glued down. What do I have left I could stick in there? I don't think I have any other tags finished right now. Here's another card. Small journaling card with a large one. It just says right now. That fits in there. Okay. We're doing pretty well. We've got quite a few pockets done. This was the side tuck I made. This is another one I have to cover. This is a journaling card cut out of an advertisement. And nothing on this page. Here I made a very small pocket. A little writing space in there. Fold it up. Tucked in a little pocket. Then you have the rest of the page to use. Nothing on here. I think I need a few more pockets. Here's one. I'll put it on this side. And that might be enough pockets. We have quite a few. <clears throat> and I make a few more side tucks. I'm going to glue this pocket on three sides. bottom and the two sides. Okay, glue it onto the page. It's centered. I'll put my stitching in between the stitching. Okay, let's straighten. Make sure you glue sticks really well in these corners. So that as you're sliding things in and out, it doesn't pull up. I'm going to try and get my hole punch in here. Hmm. No, I should have done it before. Okay, I can do it here. What am I doing wrong? It's not punching. There we go. Wasn't in far enough. There we go. We have a little notch. You can tell it's a pocket. Try and ink it up a little bit. There. Okay. Hope that will hold another card. And that should be good with it. I think we have enough pockets. I don't like too many. I like some free pages so when I'm working on the journal, I can put whatever I want in here. Pockets, pictures, full journaling, memorabilia, whatever you want to put in there. Alright, so we got a lot done. Need a little belly band. 
I thought it was going to look straight on. Oh, I thought it was crooked. Looking from this angle, it looks crooked. Now, I wanted to ask if you like it better that I show you how I'm putting all the pockets in, or if you'd rather I do them off camera and then just explain how I did them. This did, did take a good 30 minutes, but I did have all the pockets ready. I didn't have to cut any. So leave me a comment whether you like it this way or if you'd rather just see me explain how I did them, not actually watch the process. Here's a little corner tuck. That worked out well. Okay, so we're getting there on the blue journal. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me get more views on YouTube, which helps me get more subscribers. And if you want to, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll be notified the next time I'm ready with a video. So I think next time we will maybe just add a little more decorating, some labels, some words, whatever else I can find, and we'll finish it up. Okay, thank you for coming. I'll see you soon. Bye.